Okay, so you've installed um, ED Copilot, so you've installed Voice Attack. Uh, what you need to do now um, is um, add the ED Copilot Voice Attack profile to Voice Attack. Um, as you can see from my setup, I've already got my HCS uh, Voice Attack profiles installed. Um, if you're just going to use ED Copilot on its own, then whatever your default profile is here, you'll have selected. But for me, because I'm using the HCS voice packs, this will be my main, my base, my default profile. So once that's done, you click on the plus icon, import profile. You then go to your default install directory for Copilot. Now my install directory is the default one. It's um, C drive ED Copilot. If you scroll down here at the very bottom, you have a VAP file, ED Copilot profile VAP. You select that, click on open, at which point you should see it appear in the list of profiles. Do not select this one. If you've got other profiles you want to, you've already set up, you want to incorporate this profile into your main profile. So I will carry on using Elite Odyssey. That is my default voice profile. With that selected, you then click on the pen icon, go to options, and you want to tell Voice Attack to allow you to use voice commands from ED Copilot, but in whatever your base profile is. So in this section here, you click on the three ellipses, the three button, the the little three dot thing, the ellipsis icon, you click on plus and you will select ED Copilot. It will be in the, in the top of the list here. You select that, uh, click on OK, and then it should appear in the list there. Click on OK again, and as you can see, ED Copilot will appear as the profile, one other, well, the other profile you're going to be using from within this profile. Click OK, click on Done. And that is that. Leave the headset muted for the time being. Um, I would then just shut it down for the, for the time being. OK, so um, Voice Attack has been installed. Easy Copilot has been installed. You've uh, imported your H. HCS voice packs if you're using them into um, into voice attack uh, or you set up your own voice profile that's that's entirely up to you however you, what you need to do is now oh and you've also imported the ED copilot voice attack profile into your voice attack and basically told voice attack to incorporate ED Copilot voice commands into your main voice attack profile, whatever that may be. That's good. Now you've done that, um, you need to open up ED Copilot, as you see in front of you. You need to uh, click on the cog icon and you want to go to the basic setup. So click on um, basic setup scroll down don't touch the ed copilot folder location unless of course you've not installed well you don't need to touch that at all actually the ed uh, elite dangerous game journal location um, should already be set as should the uh, keybinds location um, it reads these directly from the in-game keybinds the one thing you're interested in is the voice attack folder location so you basically click on this and you will uh, browse to wherever voice attack is installed. Now for me, my voice attack is installed into D apps voice attack. And that is it. That's all you need to do um, from this part of uh, ED Copilot. Right, so you've installed voice attack 
you've installed Copilot. So you've configured voice attack with your HCS voice packs and you've also imported the ED Copilot VAP file. You've also told voice attack to ensure that commands from ED Copilot can be used with inside this particular profile. Um, you've also configured um, Copilot to look in the correct location for your installation of voice attack. Now that's been done. Oh, one other thing, what I've done here with my microphone, I've configured a hotkey or a controller override for voice attack. So I've actually got to press a button to um, listen for what I'm saying. So with that all set up, it's just a case of going well, open voice open copilot. Now this will take a uh, a few minutes, or well a few minutes, no, a few seconds rather, not a few minutes. And it will fire up ED Copilot in the background. <coughs> okay, so that is good. Okay, so this should now be good to go. So if I let my microphone, play, it's just doing some more profile stuff in the background. It can do this a few times when you first start up. That's good to go now, okay. So if I just, uh, places. Activity. information there is sometimes a bit of a lag there's I forget what it is there's, there's um the, the discord server is very good for this sort of support um, so for example if I go to uh, stations faction systems And there you have it. It's uh, there's a bit of there's a bit of configuration, nothing too taxing. Hopefully, this will uh, get you on your way. But as I say, the Discord server for um, ED Copart is really good. The, the the guy the community there are really helpful. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, check it out.